The film begins with Libby's parents and siblings rushing out the door. Joanne, who is a social worker, arrived at Libby's house. Libby's father Paul welcomes her and hopes that she could help to get Libby prepared for school. Libby's mother Suzanne explained that Libby was found deaf when she was three years old and they have no deaf relatives. She added Libby was able to understand them through lip reading. Joanne tried to interact with Libby using sign language. Sue came back home. Joanne explained that she would use some books to try to interact with Libby. Sue was busy and reluctant to pay attention to Joanne. The next morning, while the family was having breakfast, Libby was alone in the family, as her family members were reluctant to communicate with her. Joanne arrived and started to interact with Libby. Joanne played around with her and taught her sign language. Sue argues with Joanne and against Libby to learn sign language instead of lip reading. Joanne explained that it was an effective way for Libby. Joanne encourages their family to learn sign language. But Sue was rejected by stating that they are all busy with their own stuff. At breakfast time, Sue didn't understand what Libby tried to say until Joanne came. While taking Paul's mother to hospital, Sue returned home to get her purse. Joanne talked with Paul's mother and learned that Libby wasn't Paul's biological daughter and that she is Sue's lover daughter and Libby's grandfather was a deaf. Sue called Joanne and expressed her concern that Libby could not communicate well with others using sign language. Joanne advises Sue to continue to let Libby learn sign language. While on the way to Libby's house, Joanne received Sue's call and she expressed that they decided to stop Libby from learning sign language and intended to send her to normal school. In the school, Libby did not understand anything. She stands alone in a corner while other children are playing around her. Joanne arrived at the school and witnessed the lonely Libby. The film ends with Libby and Joanne signs, I love you, to each other. And Joanne begins to cry and leaves.